Hello, now I'm going to talk about my thesis project. For my thesis project, I design and do an ebook to introduce three representative ethnic minorities of China, including Miao, Hua, and Tibetan. Besides, I'm mainly doing this ebook for the iPad. I've created three different versions of the ebook, including the normal version, the multimedia version, and the interactive version. Later, I will show you the differences between the different versions. Uh, before doing the project, I searched online and find that first, the English references that introduce the Chinese ethnic minorities are mainly fragmented textual documents. Second, the existing references are scattered. Last, the culture, art, and custom are the most unique features of those ethnic minorities, but there is little English reference about them. Uh, therefore, as a minority in China, I'd like to create an ebook to introduce the Chinese ethnic minority. Therefore, the target readers are the people who are interested in the in learning Chinese ethnic minority. Uh, there are totally three chapters in this ebook, and each of the three ethnic minorities will be one chapter. Besides, each of those three chapters includes four subsections, including introduction, culture, art, and custom. The introduction part is mainly to introduce three ethnic minorities briefly, such as their population and the distribution. By reading this ebook, the readers can learn the three ethnic minorities from different, from different aspects. And this is the content map. It includes all the content in the ebook. And this is my style guide. And uh, you can see the color and the typeface that I use in the ebook. And uh, I find the three ethnic group symbols and uh, add them in three different uh, chapters. And for the images, I mainly find high quality um, uh, photographs that can reflect the ethnic minorities' features. Uh, for the layout, as we all know, most of the traditional ebook are in rectangular rectangular layout. For the ebook, I would like to break this and try some new layout. And you can see the chapter one. I mainly use the trapezoid layout. For the chapter two, I mainly use the sex. Uh, sex angular layout and for the chapter 3, I mainly use the triangular layout. And um, uh, in the process, I also do some changes of the ebook. This is the first version of the chapter 2. I mainly use the rectangular layout as you can see. However, after finishing, I consider that the layout of chapter 2 is not so consistent with the chapter 1 and it is not a match my overall design philosophy as well. Then I change it and this is my new version. And you can see that I mainly use the sex, sex angular layout. Um, by the comparison, you can see the differences. After finishing the ebook, I test the three versions of the ebook on the computer and the iPad. Now I will show you my ebook on the computer. This is the first version, the normal version, without any animation and multimedia. The chapter 1. The male nationality, the culture part, the art part, and the custom part, the chapter 2, the Wa nationality, the introduction part, the culture part.
the art part, the custom part, and the chapter three, Tibetan nationality, the introduction part, the culture part. The R part, the custom part, and uh, the, these are the references. References, the image references. This is the motor media part. This is the motor media version. Uh. This version of the first version, uh, there are differences. As this version includes some slider shows and uh, videos. The front pages are the same with the normal version. Uh, this is the pages with slider show, and you can click the arrow to change images. And this is the page with video. And uh, the next uh, page with the slider show. Another slide I'll show to show the different uh, women's wear, to show the men's wear. And another page of video. This video is mainly the Tibetan opera. And this is the second version. And the last version is the interactive version. This version includes some animation. You can see it. And for the catalog, actually you can click the page number and then you can go to the specific page. Uh, I create three different versions so that the person, the readers can select the version they would like to read. Uh, just uh, I show both of the three versions can display normally on the computer. You can see that. The page with video. Set our show. The last chapter. Uh, actually, for the motor media version and the interactive version, when entering the pages with video, they will read a little slowly. You can see it. Besides, when the videos are enter, uh, entirely loaded, the words on the pages are not so clear as other pages. You can see it.
That's all the three versions on the computer. Next, I will show you the test result on the iPad. This is a normal version test on the iPad. As you can will in the video above, this version can display normally for readers to read on the iPad. And uh, this is the motor media version test on the iPad. The front pages of this version are just images and text, so they can display properly on the iPad. When entering the page with slider shows and clicking the arrow on the pages, they run a little slowly, you can see it. The next page is the video page. You can see that when turning to the pages with video, the iBook app will crash and quit. And the last one is the interactive version test on the iPad. As you can see, the animation can display. Uh, on the computer, the text on the pages only appears with the animation. However, unlike displaying on the computer, the text shows at first while testing on the iPad. Then the text will show again with the animation. You can see it. So the animation is a little strange. It's different. It is different from the test on the computer. And uh, the same with the uh, motor media version. Uh, when turning to the pages with videos, the iBook app will crash and uh, quit. And uh, if I want to open the iBook and open the this ebook again, the app will crash and quit again.
that's all my presentation, and uh, this is all my this is all my project. Thank you for your listening.